No likey. Now it's stuck. Oh no, it's still going. Will it go through? Yeah. No. Oh, oh it's, yeah. <laughs> it's fighting. Oh my God, the line's going across me. Yeah, it's just crashing these types of bend. No problem at all. Are we going to get off? Is it going to do it? It's uh, doing strange things. Slowing down for some reason. Hi, this is John here. Today I'm going to do some navigate on autopilot on A roads because I've realised that the ones I've done so far have all been mainly on B roads. Although they were fast B roads, um, I haven't done anything on A roads. So I've tracked in a, a big sort of circular route which I'm heading towards now and um, see how we get on. So we're going to go down the A6, which I'm currently on at the moment. Just put autopilot on. Long on the A6, onto the A14 for a few junctions. Well, quite a few junctions actually. And then onto the A508 towards Northampton. And then back from Northampton to Rushton on the A45. So that's the planned route. As you can see, weather-wise, it's sort of bright, uh, overcast, a lot of surface water, um, a lot of spray. So we'll see how we get on with the um, with the spray and the cameras, and uh, yeah, everything's sort of set up, and uh, we're raring to go. Coming to our first roundabout, so I'll just disengage. This has got the latest uh, software update, so it's 10, version 10.1 um, and it's 2019.362.1. So this has the, the visualizations for traffic cones and what have you, and the improved regenerative braking, which is awesome. So this bit of road I've done quite a few times and um, I used to travel it every day to work. Another roundabout coming, so I'm very familiar with it. Uh, my regen is reduced a bit at the moment because I've got a cold battery. Um, so what is the temperature? 7 degrees Celsius, so a little bit chilly. Uh, it'll warm up as we go along. You can probably see here, you may not be able to see on the camera, I don't know, but when you've got dotted lines to the left-hand side of your bar there, it's showing that regenerative braking is reduced, and as the battery warms up, those disappear and the line becomes solid. And similarly, at the other end, you can also get dotted lines at that end as well which means full power isn't available to you as you're on acceleration. So I'm set on seven, whatever that is, seven cars, seven seconds, not really sure. But seven anyway, which is the maximum. Car's turning off to the right here, which sometimes it sort of bulks at. It did there a little bit. Um, it tends to break quite heavily which is understandable, but then it's very slow to accelerate. The car's moved over and it's already in its lane and it appears to be very hesitant to then accelerate and move forward. This is a 40 mile an hour section. It's through here. Oh, got sunshine now. Coming into a 30 here. So I'm starting dialing down the speed on the little thumb wheel on the wheel. And again, it would keep us at 60 if I didn't do anything, which is not ideal for preservation of your driving license. A 
There can often be parked cars along here uh, where can be then a bit oh, one here and there's a bus coming so I'm just <laughs> move over oh even though I dropped out of um, auto steer there um, when the bus pulled out to overtake there's plenty of room but I think the car braked Nice long stretch here that we can navigate on autopilot. Oh, I nipped it off there because there was a massive bump in the road, big pothole, which I did not want to hit. And um, the car doesn't navigate round those at the moment. It'll just plow straight through them. But with 20 inch wheels and really low profile tires, it's not a good mix to go ploughing through deep potholes. Actually looking like a nice day now. And I'm going to turn up to an ambulance. I um, just pulled it off auto steer there just in case the ambulance was going to be doing something. Just turn off the heat as well, so it's a bit warm. Slowing down for some reason. Uh, auto steer restricted to 40. Not too sure why. Um, the speed's also changed to 40, and it's not actually 40 till we get up here, so I'm not sure why it's decided to slow down about 200 yards away from where we need to be, but. Hey ho, let's put the navigate on autopilot on. There we go, let's see what happens. I might take control if the traffic looks a bit dodgy. It's uh, doing strange things, so I'm going to have to knock it off because I'm running out of space to get in safely. There's two cars, um, two cars there. It wants me to change lanes. Um, it's predicting 70, uh, and I don't actually want to do 70, so I'm just going to dial it down. We're doing 66, and it thinks we should be overtaking. Uh, I've set it to 65 maximum now. The car in front's getting off, so let's we'll see if it's intimidated by that. No, it's fine. I slowed down a smidge. So navigate on autopilot is currently unavailable apparently for some reason. This will be interesting to see how it deals with any cars joining if indeed we find any. And we're back on again. It's um, loads of lanes here because it spreads to three lanes from two. So I'm going to. It's indicated it wants to go in the other lane. Oh! Auto lane change cancelled for some reason. It was started, um, I suspect, because it didn't do it quickly enough. It's got five seconds to make that manoeuvre um, and now it wants me in the other lane. Hello, what are you doing? I know we don't need to be in this lane because we are um, going to go straight on and this lane is the wrong one so I will say go in the other lane. I've got another go. Oh, eventually we get there. Like for the third time of asking. Yeah, this inside lane uh, peels off and 
and uh, go somewhere else. So it's now suggesting we should be in the other lane to overtake the lorry who's just done the same as what we've done and pulled out. And that's fine, nicely negotiated. And thankfully there's enough traffic here to make it interesting without it being rammed. Um, so it suggested we should be back in the other lane, which makes sense. And I've confirmed that with an indicator. I've noticed that every time that you confirm a lane change um, or you suggest a lane change, you have to tweak the, um, the steering wheel. Now, it's suggesting moving into a faster lane, which is not ideal because we've got two cars which are coming up on us. One's just gone past, another one is just about to arrive. And if I had have uh, manoeuvred, I would have held both of those up because I'm like doing just a few miles an hour quicker than the cars I'm about to overtake. And it wouldn't have been very popular. So this is quite a nice speed because it's slightly faster than the slower moving traffic, but not that fast um, to be faster than the faster stuff, if that makes sense. Now we're out in this outer lane. I would normally be moving back over. Um, there is a Land Rover just pulling off in front of us on the inside lane, although he's just changed his mind and cancelled his indicator. So we are slowly catching these two up. Uh, they're just appearing in the visualisation. Uh, hopefully after these two we will move back in. Because I am catching them up by about like one mile an hour. It's gradual. Past them. Is it going to push us in? Yes, it is. So I'll confirm the change and then over we go. So it definitely likes a little tweak on the steering wheel just to confirm that you're there and that gives you a much smoother move across. If you just indicate and keep the force on the steering wheel the same it um, will give you the message to say, apply a little force before it'll make the manoeuvre. So I guess it's just a, a safety check. So our turning is coming up here for getting off. Then I'm going to have to reset the navigation route to Northampton because if I'd have set it straight to Northampton from where we started off, it would have taken me a different route, which I didn't want to do. So I've sort of plugged in a location just off the A14 on the A508, which is the road I wanted to go down. And then uh, I can then plug it again. Now navigate on autopilot is currently unavailable, which is a little bit annoying because we're about a mile away from our junction. <laughs> So I don't know if that's going to come back on again by the time we get to our junction. We shall see. Well, apparently it has, so that's good. I don't know why it does that. So I'm just going to see what it does. Um, half a mile away from our junction. drops off again so it may be me doing it on my own by the, by the feel of it so 
Oh, you're back on again. Are we gonna get off? Is it gonna do it? No, I'll do it manually. Hopefully it's gonna break quite heavily here. Oh, it's dropped off completely. So I'm not sure whether it's, before it's done it all itself, and it's been fine, um, you know, indicated itself and pulled itself off without me doing anything. And um, there it needed me to to do it. So I don't know. But once I'd put the indicator on, it did then move out and it was fine. Looks like there's some blind crests coming up. So again, I can't accelerate until we're out of the 30 and into the 60. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I've just uh, knocked the microphone <laughs> as well. I'm just going to drop the speed back to 55. Oh, there's nice conditions here for photography wise with mist and haze coming through, through the sun. Let's do that really nicely. Awesome. Nice and smooth through there. Maintain 55. Some traffic lights coming up here, so road works, which look like they're against us because there's cars coming the other way. I'm going to slow us down a bit because it's single file traffic. And it's probably just around the corner. Heavy braking. Yeah, it is. Take us back to 55. Speed limit 60 along here, which if you know the road, that's probably fine, as I don't know the road. It does feel a little quick. <laughs> Even 55 feels a little quick. But we'll see, we'll stick with it for a bit. Little dab of the brakes there by the cart, just before going into that corner. It feels confident and able to take the turning. We're certainly, I was gonna say we're keeping up with the traffic, but we're more than that. We're actually left the cars that were following us behind. So we're certainly not, uh, dawdling or slowing everyone else down. And in fact, we're slowly uh, catching up with the cars ahead. Yeah, it's just crashing these types of bend, no problem at all. Not much to say here because it's just faultless. A lot of stop start here. I have come this route before into Northampton, and there's loads of traffic lights and 
what have you coming in on this route. There's a big hole in the road which we're going to miss, thankfully. Now the traffic lights ahead are green, so we'll see if we go through them. Um, if they turn to red, then I'll have to manually intervene, but let's see what happens. Yep, oh, awesome. Moving over slightly to adjust its position. There's a load of parked cars coming up here on the left-hand side, so I'm getting ready to take us out of auto steer. Oh, it's dropped on it himself. <laughs> it sort of dropped itself out there. It's pointless putting it on here because it, uh, from previous experience, I know that it, although it says, yeah, it can do it, it won't um, because it will be upset all the time by these cars parked here. If they were in line bays it would be fine, it wouldn't uh, have a problem because it would recognise they're the other side of the, the bay, but um, because they're not um, it will. We're still on uh, cruise control, so adaptive cruise. Back on again. No, you're not, not like it. Let's see how we get on. Splits into two lanes in a bit, so it'll be interesting to see where it thinks we need to be. It's having a little bit of a struggle with the lanes. And it's decided the left hand lane, which actually is the one we want, so that's good. There was a bus parked up here, which is just got its ass in the Bay, my bulker. No, it's fine, absolutely fine. Well done, car. Going straight on here, hopefully. Yeah, uh, nice and neat. Through some lights. Again, let's see if it'll take those okay. Yep, perfect, well done. So as long as the lights are green, it's happy. The traffic's merging here from two lanes into one. I'm just going to knock our numbers down a bit on our follow because we're in slow moving traffic. And we've got parked cars, see how we get on here. Got slightly tighter grip of the wheel just in case. <laughs> it's doing okay, it's doing okay at the moment. Well, I'm quite impressed. I'm surprised cars ahead of braking, as are we. And we need to be in the left-hand lane. So are we going to follow? No, it's knocked out. Oh, didn't really look at the screen there to see if we were... There we go, back on again. Two lanes of traffic. This car poking its nose out a bit. It's fine. And I'm going to reset our location in a bit. I'm not doing anything. Car's just taking off on its own. My seat's really hot now. Just brake for the taxi that turned left. I think there's parked cars up here. Yes, there are. So that's going to cause us a problem. I'll just hit the brakes. Oh, just hit the camera. <laughs> that hasn't knocked it out. Anyway, lights have changed. I'm doing nothing, so that's the car accelerating. It's good it keeps up with the traffic on acceleration. 
from a slow start or from a stop start. I think this is the first time I've brought it through town on autopilot, so... Probably a Sunday was a good time to do that. So it's not horrendously busy. We're following the car in front quite uh, religiously. Now it's stuck. Oh no, it's still going. Will it go through? Yes! Coming to more red lights. Gonna stop. Head only, which is handy because that's exactly where we want to go, and we're turning left at the bottom here, which will probably mean a drop out again. As you'll see, we need to be in the left lane. Oh, it's the wrong lane. Technically, we could have uh, stayed in that lane. We're engaged with autopilot. <laughs> and here we go. Yep, car's taking off. Navigating round here. It's quite nice following another vehicle, in fairness, because it tends to moderate your speed a bit, thankfully. It is obviously 30 round here, which is, we were just doing under 30, sort of 27 or what have you. But it's quite nice to, I'm sorry, I should just dial the speed down a bit. See how we get on here. No, no likey. around here. Oh, dropped off again. Just put it on again in a second. I suspect it will have problems here. Indeed it will. As it will do here as well, because it's no lanes at all. <laughs> so Northampton is a bit lax on its paint. We're in this lane because we're turning right at the top here. Now they're on a filter lane, so it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I suspect it will not do what we want it to do. It has got lanes. Oh no, it dropped out. It did have lane markings at. Uh, So a little tight round here because it's um, not this particular section, but there's a lot of sections within Northampton which are two lanes and they're quite tight with the two lanes, so you have to be quite precise in your lane positioning. 
like here, for instance. Seems to be doing absolutely fine with um, the sun on the roads and on the painted lines being obliterated now and again by the glare. It's into a 40 here, although I'm still doing 30. Coming up to another set of lights, so it's pointless dialing the speed up, so we will be stopping again. And then we're on to the A45 at the next junction. Um, so it's just coming up here. It'll be interesting to see how we navigate through that. This um, two lane road splits into four in a minute. See how we get on with that. Slow down a bit here. Oh, it dropped out. That's how it gets on with it, by not doing it. <laughs> but I would have thought it would have done all of this because it's well lined this roundabout. No. Oh, oh it's yeah, <laughs> it's fighting. Oh my god, the line's going across me. Where do I go? Now let's see how we get this back on again. You on? No, you're not on. So many beeps, I don't know whether it's on or off. Keep your hands on the wheel. Now we merge into our third lane here, which is fine. Let's just dial it back a bit. So we appear to be undertaking the car in front, which is never a good thing. There we go. Wants me to get out, and I do need to get out because um, we need to be in the other lane. And whoa, it started its manoeuvre and then stopped, and now it's letting me do it on my own manually. That's interesting because it it um, started to indicate that we should be moving across. It started to move, and. Um, then uh, just sort of bolt at, at the end of it. So again, whether that's the five seconds after confirming, I don't know. But we shall move out in a minute and overtake the car in front. Confirmed. And out. It's better. car in front has now sped up. And I'm also trying to speed up. It's 70 along here. Yeah. Navigate to get in. Nice. Handles those very well. It's certainly better than the, the previous three-lane one where it uh, wasn't happy at all. So this is the A45, very straightforward, dual carriageway all the way, which it will do faultlessly. So that's a good trip out on uh, Navigate on Autopilot and Autopilot with some nice fast A roads and a bit of city driving as well, or town, Northampton's a town rather than a city. Any other places you'd like me to visit then give me a shout and we can add those to the to-do list or any other things that you'd like to see. I'll do a few more A roads and then also do a few more 
um, city and um, small villages and what have you. So give it a whole range of different types of driving. And uh, yeah, so remember to like, subscribe, comment, all those good things, help the channel grow. And um, we'll just navigate this 90 degree, see how we get on around here. Not at all, it's not even going to bother. <laughs> There's one coming back the other way as well here, but there are no road markings, or very faint road markings. So it's probably not going to manage those at all. Cyclists, we see the cyclist. Yeah, cyclist. <laughs> okay, uh, right, so over and out. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.